Hi, welcome back to my channel. Have you already have your Microsoft 365 subscription in your um, company standard? Or if you do not have one, then probably you can refer to my previous video, uh, which with titled How to Maximize Microsoft 365 Trial License. You can go through the steps and um, test it out yourself. If you already have one Microsoft 365 uh, subscription, so the question is, how do you measure the success of Microsoft 365 implementation? Then most of the time, how's your bosses ask you how you uh, validate the adoptions of your users, how they use uh, Microsoft 365 within um, the company, which is the product which is uh, most popular within your company, uh, and in reverse, which is the less, uh, uh, the least uh, popular within the company and that needed a bit of uh, attention. So if all these questions and doubts will be your con current concern and, and uh, challenges. I have a good news for you today. So um, today's video, I'm going to share the step-by-step -step how to enable powerful Power BI tools, which is called Microsoft 365 Usage Analytic Dashboard. You will show all the usage trend within your company, and then what products and how's the monthly usage and whatnot. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> Next, go to your admin portal. Click on the reports, expand it. There are adoption, score, and also usage. Click on the usage button. It will bring you to the usage overview. Scroll down all the way. So you see this Microsoft 365 usage analytics. Click get started. It will pop up screen for you to confirm. Select the checkbox, Enable Power BI Usage Analytics, and click Save button. Refresh the page. Scroll down again. So you will see it will take up to 48 hours to refresh. So my advice is to check it in the next day. So this is after 12 hours. Uh, let me refresh the screen again. All right, same thing. Scroll down all the way. All right, so you can see the report is ready. And it will provide you a tenant ID. Copy this tenant ID and save it somewhere, which is uh, you need to use it later on. All right, click the Go to Power BI button. At the below, so bring you to the Power BI dashboard. So there are a lot of options here. Click on the apps and click get apps. You pop up a lot, so you can see the Microsoft 365 usage is here. Click on it. It'll take quite a while for the first time. All right, so you can see the pricing is free. So click get it now. So it'll give you the terms and condition. Get it now again. All right, keep loading. For the very first time, it'll take a while. Just be patient for it. If it doesn't work for the first time, you click another time. So you pop out this screen click on the install. So this, so your dashboard is actually being installed right now. It'll take a little while. For my case, I already for, fast forward for, for some time. All right, so the report is ready. Click go to the app. So you see all this data, right? Um, you can see there's overview, um, let me activation and licensing, product usage, user activity as well. Not. So these are all the sample data. So you see all those numbers, 90 over percent, 1.4, 40 million and all those. These are all, uh, sample data and, and then within the overview, you can go through usage, communication, collaboration, storage, mobility. There are a lot of uh, very useful insights here. You know, get your data, you click on the connect data. So you now is the place that you put, paste your tenant ID and save it. Okay, so by default, you select OAuth2, just sign in and connect. 
So prompt you to um, put in your uh, login account and also the credential. Okay, so you can see um, it's loading around right now. So they are refreshing in progress. This will take quite a while depending on your data because if you already use Microsoft 365 for quite a number of years or a number of months, it will take quite a long hours for uh, to, to, to refresh it. If you only have like, this is a new tenant uh, which I have right, just less than two months. So it's pretty quick. So that within 10 minutes, I'm able to get the result. So you can see it's quite empty right now because my data is, I only have two accounts assigned and a very pretty low usage for now. Okay. So I hope you learned something new today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.